All right, everyone, welcome back. Appreciate y'all being here today. Um, so I got a question for you. What is your favorite time period in history? You cannot choose now. You cannot choose anything from the 21st, 20th or 21st century. So anything from, you know, 1899 and back. For me, it's definitely the, you know, the medieval time frame, the Middle Ages, stuff like that. I love the architecture. I love how they just paid respects to the landscapes around them and how everything is just so unique and beautiful to look at. I love it. It's my personal, you know, what's the, it's like my kryptonite when it comes to looking at all these landscapes in, in these, in these areas of, of, of Europe and, and so, you know, New Zealand, stuff like that. So what is your personal favorite time period? If you could go back in time, where would you go? So that is my question for you guys. But for now, we're going to hop into this video. It's half timbered houses and narrow alleyways, the middle ages in Germany. <clears throat> Historic city gates, church towers, and half-timbered houses. Germany I has mean, many that. towns just, with well-preserved so medieval so architecture, much of it on the UNESCO World Heritage List. These medieval town centers are uniquely beautiful, each telling a story of their own. Stay tuned to find out where to find them and join us on this journey back in time. I, it also fascinates me the history of it, you know what I mean? It's like, I've seen, oh, I can't remember what the video was. It, it's been a while. It's, it was actually on TikTok. And one of the comments was, guys, we have pubs older than your country when it's, you know, Americans talking about, like, Europe and stuff. And I'm like, just the history of it, to walk into a building and say, man, people used to walk in this in 1300. You know what I mean? It's just, that stuff blows me away. And I just, I love it so much. <clears throat> We begin in Trier, a city in Germany's southwest, on the banks of the Mosul River. It was founded 2,000 years ago by the Romans, who built the Porta Nigra, Latin for Black Gate, among other things. Wow. Today, Porta that. Nigra is one of the city's best-known sites. After the end of the Roman Empire, Trier evolved into a medieval city. Trier Cathedral, for instance, was built in the location of a former Roman residence. Consecrated around 300 AD, it is considered one of Germany's oldest churches. Whoa. This mix of Roman and medieval heritage makes Trier See that right there? well Just worth visiting. It's so fascinating to me. Next up, Charles the Great who ordered the construction of countless stunning edifices in Aachen. The most impressive is Aachen Cathedral, completed around 800 AD, an absolute must-see. Look at that. Just Inside, you can admire Charles the Great's golden tomb. We just don't do it like that these days. Our buildings and, and skyscrapers and stuff are just hideous compared to this kind of stuff. And his throne, where German kings were crowned for hundreds of years, making Aachen a medieval power center. Wow. Also be sure to visit Aachen's Christmas market and sample some Aachener Printen, a type of gingerbread said to date back to the Middle Ages. The city is as famous for this festive treat as it is for its magnificent cathedral. <laughs> now we head to the town of Quedlinburg in eastern Germany with its collegiate church of St. Servatius, already visible from afar. It was founded by King Henry I in the 10th century, who also made Quedlinburg a wealthy town. This is evident from the cathedral treasures, comprised of precious gold and ivory objects. The church is surrounded by over 1,000 medieval half-timbered buildings, the largest number anywhere in Germany. Hello, it's a major man. tourist magnet, so its alleys can get very crowded. Moving on to Erfurt, a city that became a powerful trading center. Being located on the ancient Via Regia trade route made Erfurt a prosperous place, as visitors can tell from the richly ornate Old Town facades. When 
in Erfurt, don't miss out on the iconic Kremerbrücke or Merchant's Bridge. It is lined with half-timbered buildings like in medieval times, where today visitors can shop, visit galleries and cafes. We've got a culinary tip too. Treat yourself to a real Thuringian sausage, or why not too? I just... <laughs> From Eastern Germany, we travel north to the port city of Lübeck, another major trading town in medieval times. Holsten Tor, Lübeck's red brick city gates with the twin towers, welcomes visitors to the old town. Its layout has remained unchanged since the Middle Ages, and Lübeck's churches and remarkable town hall are bound to leave an impression on visitors. The city could afford to build such gorgeous buildings thanks to the lucrative maritime trade. Look at, I mean, just the, the little Ships, details, ports, the little almonds, and exotic spices to the city, among other things. <clears throat> Key ingredients for making marzipan. Lübeck marzipan is very popular, and you should definitely try some. There's even a minute old town made from marzipan to admire. From northern Germany, we head south to Bamberg. Notice something unusual about the town hall? It was built in the middle of the river. Yeah. According to legend, the bishop didn't grant citizens any land for the town hall, so they took matters into their own hands. It's insane. Ran <laughs> stakes into the river and built it there instead. That is absolutely insane. Bamberg Old Town boasts plenty of quaint buildings, alleys. kinds of beer brewed here. Some regard Bamberg as Germany's beer capital. Definitely try What's a glass Germany's of beer aromatic capital? smoked beer when visiting. Our last stop takes us to another Bavarian town that's popular like no other. Rottenburg of der Tauber. Practically unchanged since the 13th century, it offers lots and lots Literally, of well to me, the definition of medieval is, is that little corner. It's like the iconic corner right there. Observed medieval architecture. What better place to experience <clears throat> history firsthand? Its ancient three kilometer long city wall is fully intact, encircling the old town, a rare architectural so cool. gem. <laughs> it's just so cool. And don't forget to climb the Town Hall Tower for a grandiose view of the medieval old town below. I love it. <clears throat> what a great video. Honestly, what a great video. It just, it just hits me in the feels when I see that kind of stuff. And I know I'm very the, the stereotypical American. You know, I seen another video one time on the Ticker Talk that said, um, it, was, it was a post and it was like, why... How can you tell an American tourist? It's like they get amazed by old buildings. You gotta understand, we don't have this kind of stuff here. Like in the area that I live in, minus the city that's about 40 minutes, 45 minutes down the road from me, I'm one of the oldest, of my, I shouldn't say me, my family is one of the oldest like settlements here. I know that's a, that's a time for a story time. That's a story for that. But it's, it's the truth, you know what I mean? And, and it was the late 1700s. I mean, so... I just, I get blown away by it. I just, I think of all the history. I think of all the, just what life would have been like back then. Like, I think of that here, where I'm from. You know, what did this look like before, you know, man came in and, and wiped out some of the stuff and put in the buildings that we put in? Like, I just, my mind thinks like that. And I, I just, I love historic, middle ages, medieval time periods. I just, I love it so much. So, Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below. Uh, for one, what's the beer capital world? And two, the question I asked you at the beginning. From 1899 and back, what is the time period you would go to? Where? Why? Just let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious to see your guys' thoughts on that. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't, uh, haven't subbed already. It's free for you. It helps me out tremendously. But other than that, thank you guys so much for being here. And we will... Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.